So here you are, we're back in Astra, Glendale. He cheats on himself. <laughs> Now, it does, this is a trigger warning, they have a highly racist Chinese cook depiction. Um, you know, I can't, I can't do anything about that, but that's... <laughs> the Lovely Bell. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Well, there it is. He gets this really, really wonderful look. I've tried for a long time to try to figure out where this was shot. I still don't know where this was shot. No, I think it's probably out in the valley somewhere. They don't say that it's pretty open country, but I don't know.
they say they go out towards Verdugo. This all happened at high noon. You're right. <laughs> but see, now they're going down to Verdugo. That's Verdugo there. And then pretty quickly, they transition to this. And I'm thinking it's Verdugo Watch, but I'm not sure. I, I just haven't been able to nail it. There's a lot of flow if it's Verdugo Watch. A lot of work for three years. <laughs> back in here? <laughs> oh, there we go. Wait, don't turn it off. shows or are interested in these shows, pull out your phone and take a picture of this and then you can get in touch with the Historical Society and come see it. On Thursday, May 23rd, I'm going to be doing a, a really neat show which is going to be about the citrus culture of the San Fernando Valley. Um, my family ran the San Fernando uh, High Sorge uh, Packing House and that should be a really, really good show. Um, a lot of good information, a lot of good uh, uh, slides. Uh, and on June 6th, I'm going to reprise the Red Cars to Glendale. For those of you who didn't see that show on uh, January 30th, I'm going to be doing it for the Silver Lake History Collective at the Silver Lake Branch Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles Public Library. And finally, um, I'm going to go back to one of my first places that I did shows, which is the Alpha Historical Society. I'm going to do a show on Owen Brown. Does anybody know who Owen Brown is? He was one of the. He was the son of John Brown, the Liberator. Was at the Harper's Ferry uh, raid, and um, uh, was one of the few survivors of it. He came to Altadena, was a big celebrity, and um, is actually buried in Altadena. So that should be a pretty good show as well. Okay, let's get the lights back on, if we could, and we'll do some Q and A. If anybody's still interested in doing that. And uh, this time, just please wait till I get to you with the mic. And, yeah, she's, and she's, she's tough about that. I'm being really mean. She's mean. Yes, thank you for the talk. Uh, that Western scene, the movie we just saw, was that at um, Woodbury in Verdugo? Correct. That's where the, I call, it, it, it's usually called the Caleb Studios, <laughs> uh, but it's also being called the Astra Studios, the Ando Studios. Uh, it was at the corner of uh, Woodbury and, and Verdugo. It was there for about 10 years, well less, probably about eight years before it was torn down because they decided the houses was for valuable than studios, I suppose. Anybody else? Questions? Yeah, right here. Yeah, pick one. Where? Oh, sorry. Are you, are you 
are you ever going to do one on Laurel and Hardy? Because we know that it's interesting. Yeah, no, it's interesting. Laurel and Hardy's been done a lot, and um, John hasn't done another show, another book, uh, book since um, uh, the Lloyd book. I I may do a book on railroads, on on, on rail rail use, um, or I might just do a. a Glendale all through the day, all through the all through the world, uh, you know, all through the ages. <laughs> Just today, you know that uh, one of the scenes from Invasion of the Body Snatchers, 1956, was shot in Glendale. Yeah, yeah. I was actually looking at it today, and it's where the one of the guys goes crazy because he's a pod person. But yeah, it's it's amazing. I mean, there's gun crazy. There's double indemnity. A lot of a lot of a lot of things have been filmed in Glendale. Anybody else? Yeah. Right there. Yep. It's James. Yeah, hi, Paul. Hi, James. Um, <laughs> um, was there that much yeah. film, like, uh, silent film shot in uh, Glendale proper, the, the city itself, or was it mostly just because Glendale had a lot of rural areas? It was mostly because it had rural areas that yeah. were proximate to Hollywood. So if you needed to, to get to a place close to Hollywood, you had the Pacific Electric to carry you there, or one of the steam railroads. Um, and by the time, say, he did the circuits, he, it was all trucks. But uh, yeah, it was, it was wherever the, your location guy got you the, the, the thing that you needed to, needed to see. Yeah. So the last, scene, the last scene in the circus, is that scroll of film, is that on Adams Street? It, it, no, it's, it's uh, well, Adams forms, doesn't, eh, kind of, no. Adams, it doesn't, but it's, it's basically, um, uh, Monterey, Verdugo, and uh, Glen Oaks, although it, there is actually, it's now, you know, but it's easy to find. I mean, just go to Verdugo, you'll see it. And if, if, if you like this sort of stuff, um, my Facebook is an open Facebook. I don't have a website yet. My wife is going to create one for me someday. She laughs, she says, oh yeah. Whatever. But um, I have a Facebook, and I do, I curate a, a photo a day. Uh, and what I did, I think, yesterday was the shot of Chaplin sitting like this, the still that show, shows the knees. And in that, in the comments section, I put in something that John did um, this year, which was the last surviving tree that you can see in the circus that's on Verdugo, the still there. So if you feel like you know learning a little bit more about it, just go on my Facebook page, Ballers, and look at that, it's really wonderful. Or go and look at John Bankston's page. I mean, John's got great stuff on his page. Oh, yes. Uh, during your presentation, you showed an aerial photograph, and I think you said it was from the LA Library. This yeah. was of a location in Glendale. Yes. And my question is, is that something that you had to go down to the library and look no. at physically, or is no. it online? LAPL has a really tremendous online um, photo archive. It's probably one. That's probably the best in terms of volume in the city. The, the problem is you can't get real high all high depth stuff out of it. But like that one was not very high depth. But it does have a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's 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 the first place I started. If you look at at my computer, if you look at I have a research bar in my bookmarks, and it's all the libraries. You know, Huntington, uh, Audrey, uh, USC, all have great photo archives, and, and they're there for you to look at and search for. First of all, thank you for a wonderful informative night. It was wonderful. Um, we live in Chevy Chase Canyon. Yes. And I've done a lot of history and seen a lot of photos of what it was like when it was Delphine Hunting Preserve. And so mm -hmm. up into the 20s, it was really wild. Yeah. Um, and so I'm just curious in, in your research at Glendale, if what films, if you discovered any that were shot up in the canyon? No, not yet. Um, sometimes you see things that could be shot in places like Chevy Chase Canyon, or Sycamore Canyon, as it was, as it used to be known. Um, but I've never, the problem I have is, is that in order to call something as being in a location, I have to be pretty, pretty sure. And I usually have to have corroboration of more than one source. Um, so I've never been able to find something specifically in Chevy Chase Canyon. Although it would have been Sycamore Canyon. One more, maybe. 
Have more questions? Oh, any more questions? Oh, we, can do, we can do questions as long as we want. We don't have to stop. Right. Are they going to throw us out? Probably. I get thrown out some places. <laughs> not for this. You know, Paul, I know you know the trails above Altadena really sure. well. We've seen some of your posts. And uh, the rail lines running into Pasadena, there were quite a few. There was the Incline Railway. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, any interest in uh, rail lines there? Or I, I, have been, I have been threatening to do a Pasadena PE show for a long time. Um, the problem with the Pasadena PE is, is that it's just too big. So you have to do pieces of it. Um, I would probably do the old, the old, uh, the old Pasadena line, which went through South Pass, became the South Pass line. Uh, I have a Mount Low show. I haven't done it in a long time, but it, it's actually in slot, which is really weird. You know, I actually took them out the other day and looked at them because I wanted to try to clear stuff out. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 something I, I I think about doing because you know Pasadena, those people, I mean, they they need culture. God knows. God knows. God knows. Anybody else? Sure, sure. Anyone else? Yes. Thank you. You mentioned the stables. Were yes. There, uh, there are stables like equestrian areas in Burbank and Glendale. Yeah. Um, so that was the only stables? Were there not people? No, when I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I, I mentioned that, one of the fascinating things that you get when you start doing this kind of work is you run into things that you, you don't think about that were so commonplace in that time. So between, say, 1910 and 1920, much of the things that were done now by automobiles or trucks were done by horses. So your refuse collection, um, you know, any transportation done by the city, Road, road work was all done by mules. Um, so that stable was the Glendale Municipal Stable. So Glendale had its own team of horses and mules that it used to do all these things that, that trucks and, and cars and, and you know so on do today. It's fascinating, I mean, when you look at it because it's such a, an anachronism that we don't think about. Right, exactly. Local stables, the equivalent of Hertz rent cars today. Anybody else? Any other questions? I guess that's it. All right. All right, thank you. Very much. Wait, 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 wait. If you're interested in getting information about anything I do, go see my lovely wife, Marshall, and sign up. I have a sign up sheet. We're going to put it on a thing, and we're going to get information out to you. And Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you. you.